I was wanting to demonstrate how to tie a horn knot that it's my favorite knot I tie on reins and you can tie it with uh, any casa knot Turk's head that you can tie a type 1 pineapple interweave into because the last interweave is two parts less than your primary knot so you have to pay attention to your uh, common denominator there but I've got a one and one quarter inch leather collar around this fat pencil and we're going to tie a 9-4 for our primary knot and it you do two wraps then go over two then over two and then you start your overs and unders right here and you do under over two times so under over under and over and that will put you if I can keep it in the frame that'll keep That'll bring you back to your standing end. And that is a two bite knot. Now, we're going to lay our tracks by following the right hand side of our standing end and do under over two times. So there's an under over, under over. And right here is where you want to start pulling your knot up so that everything's straight because where I went straight back see how this one's quite straight and these are quite sloped so my knot would be a little twisted right there okay now we're gonna cross over the one we were following this is the one we're following we cross over it and follow it down the left hand side of it and it goes under one over two, under one, over one. Now we're splitting our tracks. Here's our tracks right through here. So we're going to go over, under, over two, under, over. Now right here, see this bite? We got to pick it up because it is under under. So we go under it to get inside of our tracks and then our tracks go right down through here. Over, under, over, under. Trying to figure out where the best part of my hold my hand for the video is here. Okay, we're going over under. That finished our 9-4. And then right here, see how loose I am off my collar? Right here, I like to tighten that up and get it straight so I just snug it up but keep it on the outside of my collar get all my so I can look down and see that these are straight okay now to finish the 9-4 you go in alongside your standing end well we're going to tie a two pass herringbone knot so to do a herringbone you go on the left side of your standing end and you follow the left side of the standing part up through your knot so I went 
across two to get over my standing end and went under one. Now we're going to be following this strand doing what it is so it's over under all the way up to the top. And I went all the way to the top and had a twist. Okay. Still got my twist there. Okay, now we're all the way to the top and we're going to go over one and under this top X, this top cross. See, on pineapples, you go under this one. On a herringbone, you go under the top one. So we're going to go <coughs> under that X. And now we're coming out with the, the one below us. So we're going to be following the one on our left. So we're following the right-hand side of it. Okay, and now see this pair we're coming to? We're going to go over one, split the pair, and go under two. Now, it's, we continue following this strand right there. So it's over one, under one, and now we've come to another pair. So we're going to split the pair and go under the outside cross. So we split this pair and go under that cross. Now we're following this strand so we're going over one, under one, we go over one and split that pair and go under two. And we go over one, under one. We come to this pair, so we split the pair and go under our outside X. So we've got one, two, three. Okay. We're going to go over one, under one, and split a pair. And what we're doing is tying a two-pass herringbone knot. So over two, split a pair, under two. Now we're going to go over one, under one, split that pair, go over two, split that pair, and under our outside cross. And we're still following this strand. So it's over one, under one, and split that pair. Over two, split a pair, and under two. Over one, under one, and split a pair. Over two, split the pair and go under our outside cross. So we're going under three. Now we're going to go over one, split a pair, under two, split a pair, over two, split a pair, and under two. Now we're going to go over one, split a pair, under two. And 
and split that pair over two split that pair and under our outside cross and by going under that outside cross and with a herringbone knot this bite is underneath in between see this is the outside this outside bite and that outside bites your primary knot and your interweave knot is right between them but it's on the same bite boundary so there's only one bite boundary where on a pineapple knot you have two bite boundaries okay we're going to follow this over one split the pair under two split the pair over two split a pair under two Now we're going to go over one, split the pair, under two, split a pair, over two, split a pair. And go on. Now if you're doing half cycles, that would be the end of your half cycle, then that would be the start of your next half cycle. But we're just doing it all in one move right there, doing the under three. Okay, now we split the pair coming out of our, when we come out of our cross, we split a pair. So now we're going over two, under two, and split that pair, over two, split that pair, under two, split that pair. Over two, split a pair, under two, split a pair. over two split a pair and we come out of the knot to finish our knot now if I was doing it all with one strand I would turn and come out right alongside the right hand side of my standing end see this is my standing end right there see and I'd come under here and come in alongside of my standing end and then I'd be following it for my pineapple part of my interweave but I'm going to do it with a second strand so we have a different color so it's easier to see that. So I'm just going to go out and that completes my two pass herringbone knot. And our V's are pretty straight. Everything's looking good. <clears throat> now this strand is a cowhide that I ash scraped. So it's got the epidermal on it. I didn't dye this string. That's just the way the hide is when you do it. Now, like I said before, if I was starting this with one string, you'd come out right there. But I don't want all my ends together. So I'm going to turn back here and see that strand right there, right there, right there. So it's three strands up. We're going to come in and follow the right hand side of it by going under four to get into it one two three four okay that's in spot there hope that doesn't bother us the whole knot Okay, now we're following the right hand side of this strand right there. So we're going to go over two, under two. And this is just like tying a pineapple knot. Over two, under two. Now right here. On a pineapple knot there is the crook you'd go under these two if you're doing half cycles and then back under these two so that is your cross is that four two this way two that way and I like to stay on the 
outside of my color. So I'm right there. Hold my thumb so I can keep that on the outside of my collar. Now we're doing over two, under two, and then we're coming to our pair. So we're going to go over three, split that pair, and under two. Okay, I'm going to go over two, and I straighten my square, so when I go under two this way, and under two that way for my 4x, here, here, there, and there, and I stay on the outside of my collar. Now we're over two. We're following this string right here. Over two, under two. We come to a pair, so we go over three, under two. We go over two, and here's our cross, there, and there, and we pick up that pair. So we're gonna go under five, whoop, that was six. Five X right there. And stay on the outside of our collar. Straighten my knot a little. Okay, over two, under two. We come to our pair out here, so we're going over three. And we got another pair out here, so it's under three. Then we're gonna go over two, and here's our outside cross. So we do a five X and come out splitting that pair. And we have our inside knot on the outside of our collar. <coughs> okay. Now we're following this string. So it's over two. Under two. Now see, here's our pair out here. So we go over three, split our pair. Under three, split our pair. We go over two, and here's our cross. So it's these two, and then those three to get to there. Under our five X. Slide that up. Okay. Now we're going to go over three and split that pair and under two. Over three, under two. Now we're going to go over three, split that pair, under three, and split that pair. Now see we've got a pair here with our standing end. So we're gonna go over three, split that pair, go under our outside X to split that pair. So it's under two this way and under three that way. Straighten our knot, pull my standing end a little. Okay, now we got a pair right there. So we're gonna go over three, split the pair, under two.
Then we're going to go over three, split that pair, under three, split that pair. Over three, split that pair. Go under our outside X. So I'm just going to straighten my X a little. There. Straighten my knot down a little. Now we're over three, split that pair. Under three, split that pair. Over three, split that pair. Under three, and split that pair. Probably been faster if I just pulled them one at a time. Then over three and split that pair and that finishes our knot so I like to go up through alongside of my standing end to bury this end. Then I take this end and I come under and up through so it's with this strand that's coming out right there. And now to bury these. I do the same thing. I take this one and come up through right in there. Take this standing end of my primary knot. Take it under and up through. I let that roll over when I pulled it. Okay, pull my ends up tight. <clears throat> you can cut those off. I don't know if I can do it in the camera. And then I tuck them down in. Straighten out my knot. Tuck that one down in. Slide that standing end over. My phone's going crazy. Check that one in. Then 
I like to get my bone folder <coughs> straighten my ends up so they're nice and tight against my collar Shape this side. And the rubber down. Get my nice shaping pliers I got from Brett Haskett. These are my favorite tool. And that ties a horn knot from a 9-4 and then you tie a second 9-4 then you tie a 7-4 inside of it for the interweave and you can see that see there's one two one two three on this side it's one two one two three it makes that interweave in the center of your knot where if you tie a three pass pineapple with one color it's always offset and this makes a nice square edge and another little thing if you got a pineapple knot if you count your zigzags here one two three if there's three showing there's four underneath so three and four is seven so you know that the inside interweave has seven parts that helps you identify what knot was tied i hope you've enjoyed this video and i'll hope that you'll try to tie a horn knot they're fun to tie and they're just a really nice knot thank you for watching